Shallow one. Shallow one. Huh, coming back at you again. A couple precepts. I wanted to, um, I'll see how far we get, but, um, I wanted to go into the hell doctrine a little since it just seems like that's a, another, another one of them false Christianity doctrines that need to be destroyed one verse at a time. What do you guys think? So... Because I am, um, I study under the elder, um, uh, 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 the elders of GMS. Oh, there's more than one. Because I study under those elders, I feel like the Most High. Not feel. I I know according to Scripture that the Most High is feeding me, and He's feeding them. <laughs> And we're eating the word. And we're drinking the wine of wisdom. And we're doing it together. And I noticed today I was I brought out a class this morning talking about Iran and China and Russia. And, I, and I've been getting shadow banned from some of the uh, elders really bad actually lately. Like I was wondering where the, the one, I was wondering where Amat Wanabad has been. Amat Wanabad 144. I haven't seen any of these guys' kind of videos up, but I haven't seen in six like six days with the videos that they've just completely blocked me out of. But I click on one of the videos, and sure enough, the video I brought out this morning lands right up to what he was saying. And I was talking about, of course, Obadiah 1 and 7 is being fulfilled right before our eyes, where all the nations are starting to pull away. It's also in uh, Revelation, which I didn't get into because I had to go to work, but today, and, and you know what's crazy, uh, I've noticed that IUIC, IUI501C3, yeah, I said it, you guys are a 501C3 camp, what, you're not allowed to teach the truth, you should just close your books and sit down and shut up, but you don't, you're a bunch of fools, but anyway, and not because you're fools, but because you know the truth and you are malicious and wicked and you sneak this. You're like, little sneak this. It's like you can't come with the truth. You have to come with maliciousness. So we're going to start there. We're going to start there, but then we're going to get out this hell doctrine. But let, let's start with the maliciousness. You know what? We're going to get the real Bible for this one. We're not going to use the tablet on this one. We're going to go, and this isn't in any of my notes either. I just got to bring this out. I got notes on. This is all hell doctrine notes. There's nothing to do with, with what I'm about to say. But I am just tired of false doctrine. I'm tired of it. It's just like that's all we do is sit here and have to correct. It's like... Every time one of these fake camps open their mouth, we have to reteach every damn thing the Bible showed us in the beginning. It's a very simple book. It's a very simple book. For, you know what? 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 20. Let's see what that says. Brethren, be not children in understanding, howbeit in malice be ye children. But in understanding, be men. So, you guys have a malicious mind. It says, be children in malice. In other words, that a child has to be taught. A child has to be taught. It's saying, be children in malice. But in understanding, already know. Already have the man's understanding if you're a damn grown-ass man. And use the true wisdom. And stop falling in suit. i got to follow suit with all of the wicked two-thirds. The broad path is the way to destruction. And the reason why I'm saying that is because now we got to reteach you again. Because in, 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 uh, on Hell Doctrine... And, you know, I, I should teach a class on uh, the Passover, since the IUI 501c3 Fool's Moon Camp 
is going to um, get ready to celebrate their. And what do you think they're going to do this year? I mean, last year Nathan was like the most righteous man, or the one of the three most righteous men on earth. On earth, wow! He proclaimed himself one of the three most righteous men on earth. So, with that being said, let me read it one more time, and then we're going to go into the class, brethren. Be not children in understanding. In other words, don't have to learn understanding. Don't have to be taught understanding. The understanding is the law, statutes, and commandments being being um um just um be 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 loved to your brethren, treating them with respect, not with let's keep going. Brethren, be not children in understanding. No understanding. Don't have to be taught understanding as a grown-up. How be it? In malice be ye children. Don't, 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 don't only know how, don't know how to be a horrible person, a malicious person. That's what you know. That's your understanding. You, you're only wise to do evil. <sighs> It's just amazing, right? But anyway, so let me read it. I'm, I'm trying to get through it. Brethren, be not children in understanding, how be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. So in other words, it's saying don't have to learn how to, don't have to learn understanding, but know how to be a shitty person. It's saying if, if there was something shitty, you have, to, you have to learn that. Like I don't want to learn that kind of stuff. So I'm a child when it comes to maliciousness. And when people start acting malicious around me, you know what? These days I just don't want to be around them. I, I, got a, I got all kinds of cool things to just chill out with. I don't really need to have malicious people around me. So with that being said, I hope that um, Nasty Nate decides to stop telling his guys to teach this. But also the Christians teach this too. So I'm going to focus on the Christians more because um, IUIC, they'll come out with 50% truth. So I'm going to get the Christians because they come out with 0% truth. But you know what? They're both saying the same damn thing. In fact, this whole class is because some foolish men went with their IUI 501c3 preset package. Hell! Hell! What is hell? Well, let's find out. Let's start with the undying worm. What is the undying worm? The undying worm means to always be a prey. I can stop the class right there. It literally means to always be a prey. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead because my, my, my Bible is actually starting to get torn up. So I'll be flipping through those pages all and getting all excited and stuff. So um, I'm going to have to go ahead and just uh, um, use the computer. And uh, I just want to let you guys know that I, I, I think, and I don't have any thoughts, honestly. I really don't. But I know for a fact, according to Scripture, there's a lot of righteous IUIC members. And I love all the Israelites. I know the two-thirds have to die the horrific death, but they're also going to be in the kingdom too. So when they come into however that works out, I mean, I'm about to show you. <laughs> but uh, we do. We love all our brothers. And that goes back to uh, Leviticus 19 and 17, KJV. Um, um, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So this ain't about hate. This is about love. See, the problem with IUI 501c3 Fool's Moon Camp is they got all of my uh, people that could be my friends they got those guys all in the loop. And so because of that, I can't have any friends because I have to separate myself. 
And that's, um, what is that? Um, uh, Romans chapter 16. KJV, bam. Um, 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. They cause divisions, and, and, and it's because of how they were taught. That's how they were taught. They believe all of this garbage that doesn't break down in Hebrew. You can't go to the you can't go to the Lashon Kadash and be in a five hundred one c three camp because you're going to find out that they're fucking lying to you on every level. Now let's go ahead and get into this class because this is another way that they lied to you. When you go to hell, you're going to burn and fire and burn and fiery and burn. Lies. And IUI 501c3 says that. I can't believe it. So, um, let's go back. Let's just go right into it. Isaiah chapter 41, KJV, blue letter lexicon. All right. So first thing I told you, the undying worm. What is the undying worm? I told you already. It, it, it's to always be a prey. So, we know that. Let's get it. Um, okay, let's start at um, Isaiah 41 and 13. This is the hell doctrine class. Sorry about all that ranting at the beginning, but I love my brothers, and they're just, they get this wicked streak because of the IUI 501c3 witchcraft that's over there, and that's all witchcraft, and it's wicked, so sorry about that, but let me get into it. Isaiah 41 and 13, for I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not. I will help thee. Okay? He's going to help us. What is he going to help us from? Let's find out. Verse 14. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. Wait a second. Always be a prey. Well, come on. No, 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 no. Read it again now. Let me get, I'm getting excited already. 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and render, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me read it again, I'm, I'm going crazy. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. <laughs> so, the point here is, is Jacob and Israel, in other words, the northern and the southern kingdom are considered a worm. And this just debunks all the Dr. Brown debate bullshit too. So you, you should lose your doctrine. We should just call you Doodoo Brown, Dr. Doodoo Brown. So Dr. Brown is getting debunked here too. So anyway... All nations devour Jacob like a worm always being down. We've been a prey. We've been a captive in every nation throughout all the dynasties, throughout all of the uh, history of any country, of any nation. We were all the nations devour Jacob. So the, um, so like, um, they're like the other nations, I, I guess you could compare them to the beast of the field or the fowls of the air. So when you're in hell, the, the, the undying worm, which represents hell, if you didn't know that by now, the undying worm represents being in hell, Dr. Doodoo Brown and IUI 501c3. Let me explain something to you. Hell is a low condition on earth. 
suffering, etc. Now hold on now. Hell's a low condition on earth. Now let me show you guys something really quick because this is what it's talking about. This is exactly what it's talking about. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of um, the uh, Yahweh thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statute which I command thee this day, all these curses shall come upon thee. Now, all we have to do is read Deuteronomy 16 through 68, and you know that every damn curse lines up with us. They try to, to cherry pick. Blink, 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 blink. No. Every curse lines up with us. You guys might get lucky and suffer some of the same subjects. Very little. Oh, well, you know there was that one year when we had the, this, that, and the third. No. This was thousands of years. Thousands of years. Thousands of years they've been doing this to us. So we're the undying worm. We're the prey. Dr. Brown, IUI 501c3 with your burn in hell and you're on fire physically. You sound stupid. And I'm, I'm sorry to say it like that, but damn, you're supposed to be waking up the children of Israel. All you're doing is bringing the two-thirds in quicker than we can wake up the one-third. So, if you go in to the scriptures and you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, starting at verse 15 through 68, it'll show you what it means by undying worm. All the curses are perpetual. And how do I know that? Because they keep happening to us. And now they're getting worse and worse and stronger. Just like when the woman is in travail as the contractions happen and she dilates, she's in more and more and more pain before the delivery we need to be delivered. This hell, I gotta teach a hell doctrine class. You guys don't know this already. Now we gotta go into a hell doctrine. You don't know that the undying worm, according to scripture in Isaiah 41, is Jacob and Israel, which is northern and southern kingdom. I'm showing you that Deuteronomy 28 and 16 through 68 are the curses which make you the undying worm. If you're a prey to every nation, I don't even know why I have to keep going. It's crazy. But let's get more. Let's go to the book of Matthew. And I'm, you know what I'm going to do? Because I love my elders so much, I'm sticking to all the precepts that he brought out only. I brought out that Deuteronomy as a reference. That's why I didn't really read it. But um, I'm going to stick to all of his notes that I took when I was studying earlier this week. So let's just stick with it. Matthew chapter 5. And we're going to start at verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So what does that have to do with anything? Well, it's telling you right there. I'm just, I'm just going to break that down and then we'll go to the next verse. He's telling you he came to fulfill the law. And the law, it says, all Israel shall be saved. Think about it. He's fulfilling it. He has to do his part to make sure that we are taken care of. So, let's read another one. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tittle, tittle shall pass, shall no wise pass from the law until it all be fulfilled. So we're we're following through all of the prophecies. We're fulfilling everything right now. What does this have to do with hell? Well, see, in the end, 
all of Israel shall be saved. So how are they going to burn? So I got to get into that. I got to get into that. So uh, let's read the next verse. So we can get right into it. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments shall teach and, and shall teach man so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So from even from the least to the greatest, what did it say? It said that they were all in the kingdom. Where's the burn? You're getting burned right now just off of the scripture. I'm reading it word for word. I'm reading it word for word. And I'm going to read this last one too. Just, just for all of you scoffers. For I say unto you, except that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. The wicked, and, and, and I, I want to get into a class on the scribes and Pharisees because you've got to understand, Romans ruled over, <laughs> Romans ruled over Israel by the time Yahweh was born. You, you know who the ruler is. You, guys, you can go into Nile, but it was all so-called Edomites. And Romans are Edomites. And, uh, and I don't know. Um, I don't want to get into like animal like this. But I'm just saying that they're all Edomites. At the end of the day, all of the top rulers over Egypt, over Israel, over Rome, all of those places were Italy, Greece, wherever. They were all Edomites by the time Yahweh was born. So, when I think of that in my mind, <laughs> for I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall know in, in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, and, and then they have their taskmasters underneath them, who are the people that we see like how we have um, today. The, it, so they'll send out people that look like us to talk to us back then, but uh, the rulers? <laughs> it's just like, it was like a 501c3. So they would send out like um, uh, all of these 501c3 leaders, the ones that they pay to tell the people exactly what they want the people to hear. It's all part of hell too. This is all part of hell. We're living in hell. And we're about to be raised up out of this hell. And you guys are going to get a whole different hell. But even from the least to the greatest. And in 19, whosoever shall break the least of the commandments shall and shall teach man so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So they're going to be there in the kingdom of heaven. And it's going to be paid servants. And you know, there's a Levitical law too about that. Um, you do your week. Jacob did. He did 14 years. He did a week for, um, he did his week for, um, for, for Rachel and got Leah. He was beguiled. And then he did another week again for, um, Rachel and finally got her. And then he worked another six years, but he got beguiled again. He kept getting robbed. But the point is, is Jacob. And if you were to study enough, you would know that Jacob is actually David, but we're not going to get into that. But if you studied enough, you would know that he was also a paid servant. So don't think that you wicked two-thirds will be able to get away with that. In fact, let's go to um, the Levitical law for the least in the kingdom of heaven. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 25. We're going to start at verse 38. I am Yahweh thy power, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. 
out of bondage. I brought you out of the land of bondage. That's why they use that word instead of metzarim, because he wants you to know that this word means slavery. I brought you out of the land of slavery to give you the land of Canaan and to be your God. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxen poor and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. So you can't make him as you can't make another Israelite servant, so we know that. But you're going to be at the lowest in the kingdom of heaven. But as a hired servant, ooh, there's the cut, chop. And as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee until the year of the Jubilee. Seven years. It's all written. It's all written. We already know what's going to happen to you when you enter the kingdom. This is the least in the kingdom of heaven. This is the proof of being the least in the kingdom of heaven. Working next to heathens. People that are not in the kingdom. You're going to have to work like heathens. Not necessarily next to them, but you're definitely going to feel like one when you see that when, when you should be a ruler <laughs> and you're a paid servant or a handmaid. Bet you may be booty shaking in the kingdom like that. You'd be shamed. So the hell that you guys are talking about doesn't actually exist. <clears throat> so, like I said, when you should be rulers and paid servants or handmaids, instead of having the power and the authority, so the undying worm has been debunked. That is the undying worm right there. So, you know what? I have a whole bunch more on this, but I'm going to stop there. Let's just go with the undying worm for tonight. And, um, I'm going to um, get more and bring this out some more tomorrow. But with that being said, um, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, I hope you got something out of the short message. Shalom.